Wow, and nobody died. I'm shook. Sound the retreat. But what about the king? Should we not do as I command? Pull out, all of you. Let's move. What did I tell you? What did I freaking tell you? This man is going to betray the king in 0.5 seconds? I'm sorry, it's so loud. That was on me. He's looking fine as hell. He is looking so good. Let me just say, Daddy Duncan. Daddy Duncan, come through. I'm having a lot of extremely normal thoughts about Duncan and Kaylin's relationship. No, wait a minute. No. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, hold on. I'm oh, Whoa. Your eyes finally open. Mother shall be pleased. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's okay. So many things just happened. First of all, I was right. Logan was like, bye. Kaylin, I'm leaving you to die. That was sad. If Daddy Duncan is, do not confirm or deny if Daddy Duncan is dead. Let me discover it on my own. If you spoil it, I am banning you. <laughs> if Duncan is dead, I'm going to cry real tears. And then thirdly, like, I'm in the middle of about, I am about to cry about Duncan, and then I wake up naked in Morgan's house? I am, this has taken a turn. This is not the beginning of any <laughs> spicy thing that I've ever seen in my life, but you know what? There's a first time for everything. That piece of fabric is just really doing it for me. Whoa, um, what, what? I'm gonna say I remember you. I am Morrigan, lest you have forgotten, and we are in the wilds where I am bandaging your wounds. Is that what they're you calling welcome, it nowadays? By the way, how does your memory fare? Do you remember Mother's Rescue? I remember literally nothing. I blacked out because a bunch of guys shot arrows into my chest. I'm gonna say she rescued me, you mean from Mother the tower? managed to save you and your friend. Though no. It was a close call. What is important is that you both live. The man who was to respond to your signal quit the field. The Darkspawn won your battle. Those he abandoned were massacred. Your friend, he is not taking it well. Yeah, no sh I'm asking what happened to the Grey Wardens. All dead. Your friend has veered between denial and grief since Mother told him. He is outside by the fire. Mother asked to see you when you awoke. I... I... Did they kill the only man that I was inter... The only man that I was interested in that I figured I could have a shot at romancing with? I'm left with Alistair. That's it. 
That's my only option. It's rough out here for us. I have some questions. Thank you for helping me. I'm gonna I... say thank you. You were welcome. Though mother did most of the work, I am no healer. I do not mind. Take your time. Oh, great. We love to see it. We are safe for the moment. Mother's magic keeps the Darkspawn away. Once you leave, tis uncertain what will happen. The Horde has moved on, so you might avoid it. Here's my question, though. I'm magical, too. Why isn't my magic keeping the Darkspawn away? There are other options. I'm mourning my first love. Let me be sad. <laughs> Let me mourn. She turned into a giant bird and plucked the two of you from atop the tower, one in each talon. Is, is that? If you do not believe that tale, then I suggest you ask Mother yourself. She may even tell you. I mean, I'm ready to believe it. It's Dragon Age, but like, I didn't really think that she was gonna. Only stragglers that are long gone. You would not want to see what is happening in that valley now. I do not know who this Logain even is. Perhaps ask Mother of it. He sucks, that's what. I wonder at that myself. But she tells me nothing. Perhaps you were the only ones she could reach. I would have rescued your king. A king would be worth a much higher ransom than you. Okay, she's got a point and I, I, you know, I'll back her up on that. What a sensible attitude. Mother is seldom sensible, however. She. Here is your fellow Grey Warden. You worry too much, young man. You. You're alive. <laughs> I thought you were dead for sure. I mean, same, considering there were like six arrow shots straight into my chest. Oh, this doesn't seem real. If it weren't for Morrigan's mother, we'd be dead on top of that tower. Do not talk about me as if I am not present, lad. <laughs> I like that I she scolded mean, him, but not me. But, but what do we call you? You've, ne you've never told us your name? Names are pretty, but useless. The chastened folk call me Flemeth. I suppose it will do. Okay, hi, you Flemeth. Flemeth? From the legends? Daveth was right. You're the Witch of the Wilds, aren't you? Then what does that mean? I know a bit of magic, and it has served you both well, has it not? Um, absolutely. It did serve us well. I am going to ask why she saved us. Well. We cannot have all the Grey Wardens dying at once, can we? So Someone logical. Has to deal with these dark spawn. So logical, it has what a queen. been the Grey Warden's duty to unite the lands against the Blight. Or did that change when I wasn't looking? <gasps> I like her. I like her a lot. She's got a lot of good wit. That doesn't make any sense. Why would he do it? For power, now bestie. For question. power. Men's hearts hold shadows darker than any tainted creature. She is so Perhaps right about he believes that. the Blight is an army he can outmaneuver. Perhaps he does not see that the evil behind it is the true threat. The Archdemon. Is that the dragon? You don't need to answer that. It is said that long ago, the Maker sent the old gods of the ancient Tevinter Imperium to slumber in prisons deep beneath the surface. An archdemon is an old god awakened and tainted by darkspawn. Believe that or not, history says it's a fearsome and immortal thing, and only fools ignore history. You know who also ignores history? Locaine. Locaine feels like a man that ignores history, for sure. Me, I am just an old woman who lives in the wilds. I know nothing of blights and darkspawn. Well, Whatever Loghain's insanity, he obviously thinks the Dark Spawn are a minor threat. We must warn everyone this isn't the case. And who will believe you? Unless you think to convince this Loghain of his mistake. He just betrayed his own king. If Arl Eamon knew what he did at Ostagar, he would be the first to call for his execution. Who's Arl Eamon? I suppose. Arl Eamon wasn't at Ostagar. He still has all his men. And he was Kalen's uncle. Oh, okay. Nepotism. A good man. Nepotism. Me. Of course, we could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help. Sounds like our next quest. Am I right? And say he doesn't you help us. You have more at your disposal than merely old friends. Do we? Of course. The treaties. Oh. Grey wardens can demand aid from dwarves, elves, mages, and other places. They're obligated to help us during a blight. I may be old, but dwarves, elves, mages, this Arl Eamon, and who knows what else. This sounds like an army to me. It so really does. Do go to Redcliffe and these other places and 
build an army. Absolutely, yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roll for initiative. Why not? So you are set then, ready to be Grey Wardens. I don't know if I would call us ready, but you know. Now that you mention it, I do have one more thing to offer. Yes. The stew is bubbling, mother dear. Shall we have two guests for the eve, or none? Oh, I, I will the Grey be. Grey Wardens are leaving. <gasps> And you will be joining them. Yes! Such a yes. shame. Yes! What? Yes. You heard me, girl. The last time I looked, you had ears. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I mean, thank you, but if Morgan doesn't wish to join us. Her magic will be useful. Even better, she knows the wild and how to get past the horde. Have I no say in this? You have been itching to get out of the wilds for years. Here is your chance. As for you, wardens, consider this repayment for your lives. She literally just auctioned her. She sold her daughter to us. This was a transaction. She healed us and then was like, oh, and now you take my daughter. Absolutely. Wow. I love her and she will be my wife. Not to look a gift horse in the mouth, but won't this add to our problems? Out of the wilds, she's an apostate. What does an apostate mean? not wish help from us illegal oh, mages, okay. young man. Perhaps I should have left you on that tower. Point so true. So Mother, true. This is not how I wanted this. I'm not even ready. You must be ready. Alone, these two must unite for Eldon against the Darkspawn. They need you, Morrigan. Without you, they will surely fail, and all will perish under the Blight. Even I. I... understand. And you, Wardens. Do you understand? I give you that which I value above all in this world. I do this because you must succeed. Oh, yes, she won't come to harm with us, yes. Allow me to get my things, if you please. Do you have more of those little little scraps of fabric? We could be matching, we could wear matching I outfits. I am at your disposal, Grey Wardens. I suggest a village north of the wilds as our first destination. Yes. It's not far, and you will find much you need there. Yes. Or if you prefer, I shall simply be your silent guide. <gasps> no, absolutely. We are listening to everything you say. Queen, I'm hanging on to your every word on my knees, barking, screaming, growling for you, etc. I prefer you speak your mind. <laughs> you will regret saying that. Hello, yes, we didn't ask you. Mother. We didn't ask so her. Kind to cast me out like this. How fondly I shall remember this moment. The well, mommy trauma. Said, if you want something done, do it yourself. Or hear about it for a decade or two afterwards. I just... Do you really want to take her along because her mother says so? Alistair, why are we questioning this? Do you not see the hot person in front of us? Hello? Are you not seeing what I'm seeing? Because I am. I absolutely am. Get over yourself, Alistair. If you worry that I will summon demons... Get over yourself. She's hot. into an abomination, I assure you I will at least wait until you are not looking... I feel better. I love her. Ready. I love her. Okay, I have some questions. I may have answers. Have you never been outside the wilds? From time to time. I have been to the village I mentioned, watched its people, and pondered what curious beings they are. On occasion, I purchased goods from the village merchants. There I spoke with men a little. There they stared and knew me as an outsider. Mother wishes for me to expand the horizon of my experience beyond the wilds. Even she was not born here. I conversed with men. Is that what they're calling it now? Tell me about the village. It's a small place of little consequence called Lothering. Lothering? No more than a stop along your imperial highway where travelers purchase goods from local farms and smiths. I would go more often were it not for the town's chantry. Oh no. It makes the village particularly intolerant and unpleasant for a stranger such as me. Okay, so we gotta f*** up the chantry. And they never in all this time thought that maybe you were a witch. Of course they have. They even called out their Templars once. They found nothing. Of course they didn't, because she's perfect, because she's perfect. The real question is how we are going to get your friend past the Darkspawn, <gasps> is it not? That's okay, true. okay. We can sense the Darkspawn. Conversely, they can sense us. We should be able to sneak past smaller groups, but larger ones, or particularly intelligent Darkspawn, will always detect us. Particularly Mother intelligent Darkspawn. something else for them to smell instead as we pass by. It is important we head out of the wilds, however, not farther in. 
What's the something else to smell? I got questions. This this game is great. It is so good so far. I'm having a really wonderful time. Uh, I'm I'm loving it. It's it's not giving me a bad moment yet, except for telling me that King Kaelin was married. But that point is moot now because he is dead. I know a few spells, though I am nowhere near as powerful as Mother. I have also studied history and your Grey Warden treaties. Okay, history. Can you cook? I can cook, yes. You missed your chance. Now it's Child Rabbit from here on out. Twas she who raised me, and thus I consider her my mother, born from her womb or not. Tis what you meant, yes. Womb? 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 She's hell outside the law. Mother was alone long before I came, and will be so long after I am dead. Such is her choice, though I suspect she would claim the choice was made for her. Wait a minute. Long after I am dead? How old is this? What? What does this woman have? Anti-aging? Don't answer that. Farewell, mother. Do not forget the stew on the fire. I would hate to return to a burned down hut. <laughs> Tis far more likely you will return to see this entire area along with my hut swallowed Hello? up by the blight. I... Flemeth, please! All I meant was... Yes, I know. Do try to have fun, dear. The mommy issues in here are crazy. Do try to have fun. We're going to, like, try and not die. Did we just fast travel? And I expect each of you to supply these men. We must rebuild what was lost at Ostagar and quickly. There are those who would take advantage of our weakened state if we let them. We Fuck must this guy. This dark Fuck this version, guy fully. But we must do so sensibly and without hesitation. Your Lordship, if I might speak. You have declared yourself Queen Anora's regent and claim we must unite under your banner for our own good. But what of the army lost at Ostagar? Your withdrawal was most fortuitous. Yes, say it, King. Say it. Call him out. Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's independence. I have not shirked my duty to the throne, and neither will any of you. That's not an answer, though. The I'm gonna be real. Will not bow to you simply because you demand it. So Understand true. Let him cook. This. I will brook no threat to this nation from you or anyone. Off he goes, Fancy, scurry into please. his hole. Your Majesty, your father risks civil war. If Eamon were here. Wait a minute, Auntie, who is that? My father is doing what is best. Is that Did his he also daughter? Do what was best for your husband, your majesty? Say it, say it. Wow. Wow. Tyranny is crazy. Tyranny wild. I like her staff, it's so cool. I want a staff that looks like that. <gasps> puppy! My puppy! Yay! <laughs> yeah! We have a dog! Oh. Never mind, the dog wasn't a good sign. Okay. He wags his tail happily and pants! Oh, pet the hound. Oh, my God. I think he was out there looking for you. He's chosen you. Mabari are like that. They call it imprinting. Oh, my God. Does this mean we're going to have this mangy beast following <gasps> us about now? Wonderful. He's not mangy. Okay, I hate to say it, but, like, if Morrigan doesn't like dogs... I, like, I don't know. I don't know if we can romance her. Like, Alistair's getting a point in his column for liking the dogs. Happy bark! Oh. Yeah. 
We can name the dog. Y'all, what should we name the dog? Urs after the Varen and Tachanka in Mass Effect 2. Oh, wait, that's really good. We're gonna go with Urs. We're gonna go with Urs because it does feel... Oh, hello? Where did... Because it does feel like it could fit in with the world. And it wouldn't be... And it's a nice... It's a nice... A nice callback to Mass Effect 2, which is my favorite Mass Effect. Thanks, y'all. Those are such good suggestions. Oh my gosh. You want one of my captors? I no. How can I help? Amuse you, elf. Leave me in peace. Not him calling me elf like that. I'm in a cage, am I not? I've been placed here by the Chantry. Okay, tell me I more, am King. Sten of the Beresad, the vanguard of the Kunari peoples. Okay, I don't know what that is, but. You mock me. Or you show manners I have not come to expect in your lands. I'm trying to be but polite, damn. Now, I will die soon enough. Nah, King, this we can help you. Is a proud and powerful creature trapped as prey for the Darkspawn. Hello? If you cannot see a use for him, I suggest releasing him for mercy's sake alone. Okay, mercy. Morgan with the good ideas. I wouldn't have expected that from you. Why does Alistair still have blood on him? To take his place in the cage. <gasps> yes, that's what I would have expected. I'm fine with that. Leave me to my fate. No doubt. What help do you seek? The Blight. Are you a Grey Warden then? Surprising. My people have heard legends of the Grey Warden's strength and skill. Though I suppose not every legend is true. Perhaps if you told her the Grey Wardens need my assistance. It seems as likely to bring my death as waiting here. Okay, okay. Very well then. Eaten alive by Darkspawn. That's cruel. I wonder why the Revered Mother's so afraid of him. Damn, Alistair, speak up! <laughs> speak up! I did not see you approach. Sir Donald? Is that you? Not him knowing each other! By the maker, how are you? I, I was certain you were dead. Of course he was. Not yet. No thanks to turn Loghain. If Arl Eamon were well, He'd set Loghain straight soon enough. If he were well? What, what, what do you mean? Oh no. Arl is stricken with an illness that threatens his life. We have found no cure, either natural or magical. Oh no. When did this happen? Only a few weeks ago, but he has declined quickly. No one knows the nature of the illness, and even magic has done little to slow its progress. Do we think turn Loghain poisoned him? I do. Miracle. Every knight of Redcliffe has gone in search of the urn of sacred ashes. Ooh. On Druste's ashes are said to cure any illness. But I fear we are chasing a fable. With each day, my hope dims. Nah, I can get it. I could get it. Supposedly, the urn contains the ashes of the prophetess on Druste. Surely you know all this. Listen, I know nothing. I know literally nothing. If you're truly interested, there are books here containing a great Not him telling me to read a book. Nothing I have found leads me to believe that this was anything more than a quest of desperation. I He's kind of hot, to though. To Redcliffe soon He's kind of giving. Tell the Arlesa exactly that once Sir Henrik arrives. My fellow knight and traveling companion. He is delayed, though. Uh, he's dead. He's dead. What? And you have his locket? Hey, we found it! And a note? Maker's mercy. Thank you for giving me these. I would never have known otherwise. Thank you. I wonder how many of us have met similar fates on this mad quest. Who's to say, King? Who's to say? Why is that, if I may ask? I see. The Arl is a popular man, it's true. Tern Loghain, however, is a hero throughout Ferelden. Whatever the Tern has done or not done, the Arl remains ill or worse. That is my primary concern. Okay, well, um, I am certainly going to ask, do you think Loghain the is involved? Ill before the King died. But what if Loghain planned that too? He's asking the right questions. Oh, such thoughts do not sit well with me. We should see what's happening in Redcliffe ourselves. I believe that now more than ever. If nothing else, I am certain you would be welcomed at Castle Redcliffe. The Arlesser is there, and she could tell you more than I could. I expect you to take advantage of the Chantry's library, in fact. But my skills are better suited to battle than chasing down tales. My mission takes priority. But I fear I shall be returning to Redcliffe with nothing to show for my efforts. Listen, I can help you, gone, but I you need to return to Redcliffe. <laughs> Perhaps later I will seek out the scholar his note mentions. But I must go. Damn, I thought he was gonna join again, our party. Lady. She has been most helpful. You're so welcome. We tried. She looks kind of fine. Making a donation to the Chantry, my friend. You look like you have salvaged more of value than most who make it here. Not her 
grifting us. Hello, not her shaking us down for the coin. Who are you? I'm just gonna avoid I'm the question. I'm the mother of this chantry. Traditionally, those who seek my blessing tithe first. Might I suggest 30 silver? 30 silver? How much silver do we have? One out of one is a more generous we'll give 10. than 10 out of thousands. I can't believe she just what shook me down do for money. Me, wow, I cannot believe we had to pay. We had to pay an entry fee. You hate to see it. It might have been kinder to execute him, but I leave his fate to the maker. Why does he interest you? Then his next victims might count you and me as their murderers. Your custody. And who might you be? A Grey Warden. <gasps> oh dear. No! I will have to ask you to leave before you bring trouble on our heads. No! No! To defend against the blight. Perhaps that is a form of atonement. But are you certain you can control him? Why am I trying to control another person? I'm not sure that would help, considering your group's current standing. What's our current but standing? Here, okay, all right, fine, take the we're good. To the Canaries cage and take him away. I pray this is the right path for all our sakes. You're praying for one person, and that's yourself. You are not praying for the rest of us. Let me just say. Okay, bye. That was thoroughly unpleasant, and I don't like her. Those Getting extremely bad vibes, rancid vibes from her. Why don't do you, you keep staring at me so, you flea-ridden beast? Can you not tell when you are not wanted? I enjoy company of creatures of the wild, not stench-ridden domesticated <gasps> wolves. <gasps> oh, we, I want to pet him! Pet him. <gasps> oh, a hundred year old bottle of wine. Okay, continue. Oh my God, thanks for the bottle of wine. I feel like I needed to pet Urs so that way, so that way he knows that we love him, even if Morgan's being to him, which I don't appreciate. It's docking points against her for the romance. Don't be mean to the dog. Right, okay, thank you, you for the reminder. something more of me. Um, I have the key. I confess, I did not think the priestess would part with it. Now I got you. So be it. Set me free and I will follow you against the blight. <gasps> Yay! And so it is done. I will follow you into battle. In doing so, I shall find my atonement. Yay, new person. Thank you, Stan. May we proceed. I am eager to be elsewhere. Yay! We have a new party member. You found out the hound can fetch things. I love it. Oh my God. Sick party setup. Hello. We are all, we are giving. We are serving and we are giving. Okay, what, is he like a monk? Oh, he's a warrior. Oh, there's no natural well, aggro. That is crazy. I think we've just been blessed. Yeah, because I'm uh -oh. super hot. Logan's I know. Men. I know. This can't be good. Oh, it's Logan's Didn't we men. spend all morning asking about an elf by this very description? And everyone said they hadn't seen one. It seems we were lied to. But this Definitely. man is kind of fine. Surely, there's no need for trouble. These are no doubt simply more poor souls seeking refuge. Why They're is everybody priest? Now stay is he set to defend her? He you is. Protect these traitors. You'll get the same as them. Tan Logan claims the Grey Wardens betrayed the king. Or haven't you heard? No, no, I heard. Talk. Take the warden into custody. Kill the sister and anyone else that gets in your way. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. One okay. Surrender all Good. Good. They've learned their lesson and we can all stop fighting now. I was there. The turn pulled us out of a trap. The wardens led the king to his death. The turn could do nothing. What do you want to tell him? I'll tell him right away now. Thank not you. that you can all gang up on me. I I'm screaming. Interfering, but I couldn't just sit by and not help. She's very cute. Um, she is a nun, but I guess we can't hold it against her, right? I wasn't born in the Chantry, you know. Many of us had more colorful lives before we joined. Let me introduce myself. What does she mean by that? I am Liliana, one of the lay sisters of the Chantry oh! here in Lothring. 
This is oh, who everybody gosh. keeps talking about. Oh my god! Wow, I could not have I could not have predicted what she looks like. But every single freaking thing that I hear about Dragon Age, people are like Lay Leliana, Leliana. Doesn't Leliana? You know what? No, don't tell me anything. Don't tell me anything about her. Just I am Briaris. A pleasure. They said you were a Grey Warden. I'm surprised you're an elf. Hello? Elves must want the blight defeated as much as humans, no? I know after what happened, you will need all the help you can get. That's why I'm coming along. Thank you so much. I love how she's just like, I'm coming with you. You have no say in this. We, we love to see it. They talk so casually and are covered in blood. It's one of the things that I love about this game. I think it is incredible. We love to see it. That and the maker wants me to go with you. I, I know that sounds absolutely insane. You mean Jesus? But it's true. I had a dream, a vision. More crazy? I thought we were all full up. Alistair, please shut up. Nobody asked you. They are lost in their despair, and this darkness, this chaos, will spread. The Maker doesn't want this. What you do, what you are meant to do, is the Maker's work. Let me help. If she wants to come along with us, and she's like, ooh, the Maker wants you to help, you know what? We'll believe anything. We'll believe anything out of her mouth for this. Yes, Le Leliana. Yes, absolutely. That's fine. So much blood play in this game. They're, the blood can't go crazy over here. Perhaps your skull was cracked worse than Mother thought. Morgan, Thank please. You. Please. I appreciate being given this chance. I will not let you down. Will not being bolded. Oh, do you want to talk about Duncan? You don't have to do that. I know you didn't know him as long as I did. Um, That doesn't mean that I don't mourn I his loss. He was so time. fine. Duncan warned me right from the beginning that this could happen. I really didn't. Th th this was an accident getting into this conversation. I shouldn't have lost it. Not when so much is riding on us. Not with the blight and, and everything. I'm dying because of like the I'm special sorry. effects on them. I like to have <gasps> a proper funeral. For yes, I agree. Maybe we should rest in peace, sexy king. Die. It's an excellent idea. I think he came from High Ever, or so he said. I ever? Maybe I'll go up there sometime. To see about putting up something in his honor. I don't know. Not Are Alistair being like, I'll do it myself. To you, Not that I mean to pry, I'm just Yes, I imagine you. I'll be empathetic. Have... We never know. Thank you. I'd like that. So would he Yeah, hello, I would like to go to High Ever. He was a fine ass man, and I personally would like to commemorate him. Very mighty timely arrival there. Okay. My friend, I'm much obliged. I love okay, I like how the dwarves look. I like it. The name's Bodon Fedic, merchant and entrepreneur. This here is my son, Sandal. Sandal? Hello, my boy. Hello. Road's been mighty dangerous. He named his it's child Sandal? Brings you out here. Perhaps we're going the same way. Complicated. <laughs> Somehow I imagine that only says half of it. Thank you for the offer. There may be more excitement on your part. <gasps> oh. It's good for my boy and me. Allow me to bid you farewell and good fortune. Goodbye. Now then, let's get this mess cleaned up, shall we? Ba -da -da. Oh, cutscene? Okay. Oh. Hold on. Look at us on our giant yaoi hands. Just laying down. Bad dreams, huh? Well, it is real, sort of. You see, part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the Darkspawn. That's what your dream was, hearing them. The Archdemon, it talks to the Horde, and we feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. I don't know if it's really a dragon, but it sure looks <laughs> like one. It, I, I think but it's a yes, dragon king. That's the archdemon. It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me too. <laughs> I'm laughing because he didn't wake us up. He was like, oh, I'll just tell you when you wake up. Now, see me, if I saw my friend thrashing around, I would try to wake them up to get them out of the dream. That's just me. That's just me, though. You know, we can't hold it against him. Other than dying young and the whole defeat the blight alone thing, 
No. I'm all tapped out for surprises. <gasps> no. Anyhow, you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. Bestie, it's still dark outside. Quiet. It was a life suited for contemplation. In the cloister, <clears throat> away from the fuss and the flurry of the cities, I found peace. And in that stillness, I could hear the Maker. But it was not perfect. Some of my Chantry fellows were condescending. That is the nature of religious folk, I suppose. Um, yeah, it is. Yeah, it absolutely is. When I talked about my beliefs, that the Maker reveals himself in the beauty of his world, they treated me with disdain. They want to believe that he's gone, so that when he turns his gaze on them, it means they are special, chosen. Interesting. They cannot possibly have love for all, the sick and the weary, the beggars and the fools. Thank you. Maybe I am wrong. But it is the Maker's place to decide if I am worthy, not men, not the chance. So true, Bestie. Maybe so be true. Done. And I have talked enough for now. Wait, no. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Lady Liana approves. Plus two. Wait a minute. Yes. What is meant by someone like me? Oh, okay. Sorry. Did you think I was always a cloistered sister? I mean, the yes. Provide succor <laughs> yes. And safe harbor to all who seek it. I chose to stay and become affirmed. The Chantry does not pride, <gasps> and you should. I desired time apart from the world. Wait, I, I didn't mean to piss her off. I in Orle. Tales and songs were my life. I performed, Aww. and they rewarded me with applause and coin. And my skill in battle? Well, you pick up different skills when you travel, yes? Yes, of course. Um, let's move on. <gasps> Wait, I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, Queen. Yes. I did not mean to piss you off. Well, here I am. I feel like I... I knew this would come up sooner or later. I don't know how to explain, but I had a dream. In it, there was an impenetrable darkness. It was so dense, so real. And there was a noise, a terrible, ungodly noise. I stood on a peak and watched as the darkness consumed everything. This is very Madoka Magica of her. The last of the sun's light, I Which makes me nervous. And the darkness drew me in. You dreamed of the blight? I suppose I did. That was what the darkness was. No? Sorry, I am when like I woke, really, I went to the really just like adjusting as myself. I do. But that day, the rose bush in the corner had flowered. <gasps> it Everyone had flowered. Knew that bush was dead. It was gray and twisted and gnarled, the ugliest thing you ever saw. But there it was, a single beautiful rose. Aww. It was as though the maker stretched out his hand to say. Even in the midst of this darkness, this is a really nice interpretation. There is hope and beauty, have faith. There is a nice interpretation of, of of her faith. I don't really know. It's hard for me to romance people who are like really deeply religious, even if I respect it, because like I ju I just can't get on board with it. But I do I I respect her for sure. In my dream, I fell, or or maybe I jumped. I'd do anything to stop the blight. I know that we can do it. There are so many good things in the Maker's world. How can I sit by while the Black devours everything? Listen, a great question. That is why you are a Grey Warden. Come, there's a Blight to stop. So true, Bestie. So true, there is a Blight to, st to stop. Okay, where is... Uh... I realize that there's like other things to do. However, I want to talk to potentially what our girlfriend. Wish of me? We are in camp, so tis <laughs> as good a time as any. She's like, I mean, it's fine. We're in camp. I am here because Flemeth commanded me to aid you. Listen. Why? Do you wish me to leave? I can do so if you prefer. No, please stay. Please stay. Please stay. If I wanted to leave, then I would go. I remain, <gasps> so do not ask such pointless questions. I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Bestie, I'm sorry. Morgan. Oh my god! Morgan disapproves minus 10! <gasps> what do you wish of me? Wait, no! Oh camp, my god. So Did I just. This is as good a time as any. Can I get that back? I am here because. Why? Do you wish me to leave? I, then I assume our discussion ends here. Wait, no, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, hold on, I'm reloading our save. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. But like, uh, eh. minus 20 is so many points, is so many points of disapproval. We're reloading, okay, auto save. Yeah, 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 we are reloading. Oh my God. She is hard to talk to. Me. I was not born such. Tis a skill of Flemeth's. Of course it is, many of course it world. is. The chastened have tales of we witches, saying that we assume the forms of Yeah, Bestie, you are never going to be assuming the form of a spider while you are in my party. From his tribe, 
that is probably better to avoid asking her why you were here. Young Thank boy you. Kicking and screaming to our lair to be devoured. A most amusing legend. Changing her form, certainly. <laughs> Devouring lost children, I cannot say. I am obsessed she with her eye makeup, though. Experience. It's so nice. Though, in truth, my lifespan is but a fraction of her own. A fraction? Why do you ask? Whoa. Is there something specific Hello? you wish to know? Anyone with sufficient will. But the act of transformation is a magical one. It is a spell and thanks, thus requires Thanks for the, for the encouragement. I need it. Indeed, you could learn the spells required <gasps> if I cared to teach you. <laughs> The form of an animal is different from my own. One may study the creature, learn to move as it does, think as it does. In time, this allows one to become as it is. I gain nothing by studying another human. Okay, interesting. This does make sense. They are. I learn nothing. So the answer is no. My yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this makes the sense. Only one I possess. Indeed. <gasps> Have you an opinion on my abilities then? Wait, I didn't. Am I an unnatural abomination to be put to the torch? A most practical opinion. <gasps> I can't tell if she likes that or not. Any man I have spoken to. But enough of such talk. Let us proceed, lest the dust gather on us. Better than any man. Yeah. We're gonna prove plus four. I'm saving. Oh my God, save. Why do you ask me such questions? Oh God. I do not probe you for pointless information, do I? <laughs> oh, what luck. What is it you asked if I grew up in the wilds? A curious question. Where else would you picture me? For many years it was I'm so scared. Flemeth and I. The wilds I'm so scared. and its creatures were more real to me than Flemeth's tales of the world of man. In time, I grew curious. I left the wilds to explore what lay beyond. Oh, did she? Never did she long. grow curious? Brief forays into a civilized wilderness. Would you not do the same? Your world is an unforgiving and cold So place. true. The I would do the same. The hailed from is home to me, and I a natural denizen. I'm so For curious if she's going to be, like, negative 10 on this. Lands proved to be <gasps> overwhelming. I was unfamiliar with so much. So confident and bold was I, yet there was much that Flemeth could never have prepared me for. Also very true. I rather doubt that. Oh, oh no. Once was I accused of being a witch of the why wild. Is every, why does she Jason hate everything that I say? With a merchant caravan. <gasps> this he is so stressful. And began shouting in his strange language. And most assumed he was casting some curse upon me. You know, she's I smart for this. Girl, Huge brain. Naturally, he was arrested. Huge brain. Men are always willing to believe two things about a woman. One, that she is weak. And two, that she finds him attractive. I played she, the is so right. the captain of the guard. she is so right. She is so right about that. Child's wow, put it on my tombstone. The point being that I was able to move through human lands fairly easily. Whatever humans think a witch of the wild looks like. Now, she right about that. Only, not that. She I right about that. Trouble. There are things about human society which have always puzzled me, such as the touching. Why all the touching for a simple greeting? Okay, Morgan doesn't like hugging, I assume. <laughs> Do not speak to me of trivialities. Your culture is not so entirely different. There were many nuances that Flemeth could never tell me of. When to look into another's eyes. How okay. to eat at a table. I can't how win. How to bargain without I offending. Can't win. None of these things I knew. I still do not understand at all. <sighs> to me, but then I gave up long ago any hope of doing so. When I returned to the wilds last, I swore to Flemeth that I had no intention of leaving again. And yet now, you he now you're here. Yes? Let's ignore the entire Darkspawn threat and the presence of a simpleton as your only other Grey Warden ally, then. <gasps> Not that I lack appreciation for the intent of your comment. Thank you. Well, let's get on with it before the ground opens up and swallows us, yes? Somehow, that was plus five. I'm saving. We are not talking to her again. <gasps> I can't go through that again. Okay, let's Why go talk to Sten because I... <laughs> There are dark spawn to be fought. Is this delay needful? Wow, it really makes me feel so small, the way that this perspective is. I kind of dig it. You are concerned. No need. I am fit enough to fight. Are you, King? Are you? No. What? People are not simple. They cannot be summarized for easy reference in the manner of the elves are a lithe, pointy-eared people who excel at poverty. Excel at poverty? Hello? I am. I have always fought in war, elf. Hello? Not him saying- not him calling me elf like that. Some of them. They aren't all alike. As you wish. 
Did I say that? I meant that dogs raised me. Giant slobbering dogs from the Anderfells. A whole pack of them, in fact. Well, if you're going to go and pay attention to the facts, then fine, fine. Somehow Let's I feel see. like he's How not this? liking this. I'm a bastard. And before you make any smart comments, I mean the fatherless kind. My mother was a serving girl in Redcliffe Castle who died <laughs> <when I> was <laughs> <very young>. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't my father, but he took me <laughs> in anyhow and put a roof over my head. He was good to me, and he didn't have to be. I respect the man, and I don't blame him anymore for sending me off to the Chantry once I was old enough. How old is King Kalen? How old was King Kalen? How old was King Kalen? Was he older than Alistair? Didn't somebody just say, no children we know of? Alistair is blonde. King Kalen was blonde. Don't tell me anything. I'm just making guesses, but I am asking, how old was King Kalen? King Kalen looked very young to me. And how old is Alistair supposed to be? Those are the two things that I want answers to. Or is or is he trying to imply that Arl that the Arl was his dad? I know who I was told was my father. He died even before my mother did, anyhow. Oh. It isn't important. Never Arl mind. Even wow. Eventually married a young woman from Orlais, wow. which caused all sorts of problems between him and the king because it was so soon after the war. But he loved her. Anyhow, then you, Arlesa, resented the rumors which pegged me as his bastard. Not. They weren't Alistair true. Alistair getting of course pegged. They existed. The Isle didn't care, but she did. Oh, so classic. Oh my god, mommy issues. Monastery at age 10. Just as well. They're about the, the same Arlesa age. Okay. I'm sure the castle mm, wasn't home to me by that point. She despised me. Oh, so that's why he doesn't so that's why he doesn't like that's why he doesn't like Morgan. She brings up mommy issues for him. Okay, he has mommy issues. That's so valid. Kaylin was born in the year 905 Dragon. I don't know what that exactly means. That's okay. That's okay. I'm just trying to figure out if Kaylin was his dad, but I I, I don't think he is. Maybe. She felt threatened by my presence. I can see that now. I can't say I blame her. She wondered if the rumors were true herself, I bet. Mm, probably. Remember I had an amulet with Andraste's holy symbol on it. The only thing I had of my mother's. Aww. I was so furious at being sent away, I tore it off and threw it at the wall and it shattered. Stupid, stupid thing to do. The Isle came by the monastery a few times to see oh, how this I was. Is sad. I, was I hated it there and blamed him for everything. And eventually, he just stopped coming. That is sad. All right. I kind of, I kind of, I feel for him. I feel for him. And raised by dogs. Or I may as well have been the way I acted. <laughs> yeah, but maybe all young bastards act like that. I don't know. All I know is that the Earl is a good man and well loved by the people. He also was King Kalen's uncle. He was King Kalen's so uncle. He has a personal motivation. Okay. To see low gain pay okay. 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 Anyway, it's, it's all the pieces really are coming together. Story. 